goes ahead and he tests his paper for, let's say, water fastness. I'm going to try not to use any chemical names. It's really simple. You do two tests. I'm going to do one of them for you right now. All right? This is actually packaging paper that comes with, um, you know, with whatever you get delivered to your home from the brown truck or the white truck. Um, you know, they wrinkle it up and they stick it in the box. It makes contact with whatever's in the box, etc. So maybe I want to use this to stifle some weeds in my garden. I want to upcycle this. I want to, I want to engage in that circular economy. And I want to utilize this for my own organic needs. It's a good idea to test it first. I'm going to show you how to test it. One simple test to let you know whether or not this has got PFAS coatings on it. Distilled water. No PFAS in distilled water. It would be great if that was what I was using. I'm actually using filtered water. Water that's been filtered through a special uh, filtration system that removes PFAS uh, long and short chain uh, chemicals. So, got the paper. All I'm going to do is hold it over the sink. Drip a little bit of water onto it. Just like that. We see that the water soaked through the front. I'm going to turn it over. If there's no water on the back side of this paper, then it's been treated. Check it out. I'm happy to touch it. This is untreated. You can see the water. Alright. Where'd this product come from? Melnor. Thank you, Melnor. Because if you sent me a sprinkler that was coated in PFAS, the PFAS would end up on my gardens. God bless, folks.